Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Okami HD. And just like that, it's nighttime. Amazing. Anyway, we're still in Kamui and we need to explore the northern part of the northern area. I know that sounds a bit repetitive, but before we do that, looks like I missed a chest over here. I thought I opened that one. I didn't. Weird. Okay, never mind. It's another white porcelain pot. Which means more money for us. And we already got a nice chunk of cash. Who knows how long it will take before it's all spent. Knowing how expensive items can be late game. It may not take very long at all. I suppose we'll just keep it nighttime. I think the farthest north I went was the merchant. Did I go in this house? I think I did go in this house once. I'm trying to remember now. No, I didn't go in this house. Hi, what's up? Oh, what have I done? If this carries on, Kamui will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them. But I'm no match for those assassin monsters. Oh, what am I going to do? Hello, Wolfie. What are you doing out in the blizzard? I envy you. You must have such an easy, carefree life. What I wouldn't give to be like you. I'm doomed to spend my days here, living in fear of those monsters. What's he new, young man? Well, th luckily, not the monsters. You might feel better if you just talk about it. Oh! You have a Ponkle with you. A white wolf and a Ponkle. That's like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. They must have told you to come here and help me. Nah, you got it all wrong, young man. I'm not... I find that whole young man thing a little patronizing. I've got a proper name, you know. I'm called Wally. Aren't you that guy with the Gardevoir in uh, Gen 3? Listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. It all started just over a year ago. I was living in Webkir, the village up in the mountains. It's home to Kutone, the divine sword that protects Kamui. Because the village elder always treated it with so much respect, I couldn't help feeling curious. So one day, I touched it. I only touched it a tiny, tiny little bit. Honest! Ever since then, I seem to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke, I was rejected by the girl I liked, I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. And that was all in an hour! And on top of that, this awful blizzard came along, and that was only 30 minutes later. Now those assassin monsters are on the wall trying to kill me. I don't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Wow! I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So, what do those assassin monsters do to you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they're always staring at me from way off in the distance. I know what they're up to. They're trying to break me emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You have to help me, Wolfie! You have to get rid of them. See, here's a list for their names. Alright, Creepy Ink, Igloo, Snowy Stigma, Stalking Blizzard, Cold Remorse, Frozen Penitence. This must be the fourth and final list, is it? Boy, you sure are a thorough young man. I think the gods placed some kind of mark on the assassin monsters. <coughs> You'll definitely know when you see one. They're very wary though, they only come out at night. Please get rid of them for me so I can sleep peacefully again. I would imagine that would be the final list, because there's not that much left of this game anyway, I don't think. Judging by the number of stray beads, I just think there's very little left. I wonder, are you one of them? Oh my god, the <laughs> one of the monsters like really in front of his house! Wow! Hey! That monster's got an exercising arrow stuck in it, too! 
That means somebody really want to get rid of the monster. Don't let it get away. I really want to deal with this uh, Blade Namahage first. Did I get hit by something? I don't even know. Like, I couldn't even... What the? Oh, Ice Physics. That's what it was. Oh, you ain't getting away that easily. There, Snowy Stigma got defeated. That's one out of five. <laughs> yes. Your eyes do not deceive you. I have a million yen. Alright, here we go. Just scratch off the list. Snowy Stigma. He's gone. That's one less monster! Yeah, 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 I know. I'll probably look for the others later on. Like, I'm not gonna waste my time dealing with monsters that I may not get the right ones. And I'm just getting fights for no reason. What are some Bun Buns doing here? Aren't you cold? Just sleeping on the ice like that? Also, how many more hairs do we need? Still only at 88%. Okay, I see something over that way. It looks like some kind of forest. Oop, I missed. Got it that time. What's it say? I think I saw a sign over it. Yosh Pet. Interesting. And I see more bears. There it is. That's all the praise I need. For at least the next couple minutes. <laughs> we can't go through. This is a mark of protection of the Oina tribe here in Kamui. Let's forget about this place. We got better things to do. Somebody really does not want to go in there yet. Do you know what's in this place, Isun? That seemed a bit suspicious to me. Well, anyway, I think it's time for us to keep going. I can go up at this little ledge. Oh, there's, those are cranes. For some reason, I thought those were effigies left behind. I was like, what? I don't remember that being a thing. That's right, they sleep standing up. The amethyst tassels. Ooh, that, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so maybe I should go... That way leads to Yoshpe. We don't need to go there. If I smash this rock. Which it turns out I already did that. Do I really need to check this out? Nope, that's Yoshpe. Never mind. I thought there was like two paths that led to the right for some reason. There is a cave that I haven't checked out. Why don't we go there now? Can't feed the bats, by the way. I can, however, melt this ice and get a treasure chest. The vengeance slip inside. I hear you chirping there, batty boy. But I can't feed you, so you'll just have to starve. Tribe of the Moon? Huh. Okay, so I guess we're getting some, uh... Backstory with this? After decades of internal debate, I decided to write about the man who spoke to me regarding the Celestial Plane's destruction. I shall endeavor to shoulder the heavy burden of that man's fate. My brush shall act as a bridge to the shadowy past. 
The man had identified himself as a member of the Moon Tribe. The idea of life thriving on that desolate rock is mind-boggling. Furthermore, their civilization has far surpassed our own. Most of their ranks succumbed to death, but this man had fled. He was silent on the topic of why his civilization was destroyed. What business could the Golden Tribe of the Moon have with us? I gaze into the distance, knowing the answer cannot evade me forever. Moon Tribe? That sounds like something out of Illusion of Gaia for some reason. That's a pretty good game, by the way. Also, I kind of want to get this. Get even more praise. Good stuff. Wow, that one was worth 30! Damn! And there's a random bear! How did you end up here? I could not see, like, anything down the bottom. I feel for you if you actually fall down. Hold on, let me get these in view. Or I can just use, like, Inferno. What? Oh shit, I'm sorry there, bear! Barry Manilo. Oh my god. Oh, okay, you're fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry! And then he grew up to be Smokey the Bear, even though I just called him Barry Manilo 12 seconds ago. Because I forget my own jokes. <laughs> if you can call it a joke. <laughs> wow, no kidding, that was a large exorcism slip. It was almost twice the size of Amy. Oh look, there's another bear over here. Okay, I'll try not to set that one on fire. But I can't do anything about this yet. Alright, how's the animal tome doing right now? Only 66% of bears. Well, at least I'm moving along real quick on that one. Then again, Kamui does have lots of bears. In fact, <laughs> this region pretty much has all the bears. Just as Ryoshima pretty much had all the cows. Alright, so I guess we're going up here then. Uh, hold on. Looks like there's another ledge I didn't visit. Like right over here. It could be this way. Oh, there's a chest! Oh wow, it's just a stray bead out in the open. I'll take that. But what's in here then? Oh, I forgot you can detonate those right away. Like I thought you could, but it turns out you can't. And now it leads to another cave system. Oh no, it was those other gate. Or that other area that's likely gonna have an advanced devil gate. Yeah, hell to the gnaw right now. Let's just go this way. I haven't even done the second one, so let's not even think about the third one. Instead, we'll go over to this place. I think it's called Webcare? Yeah, it is a town. Whoa! Looks like the whole village has been frozen solid. I wonder if anyone's still alive. I would say probably not. Let's not save yet. Hey, Emmy, come on! We got better things to do. What? Better things to do than reading? You are so uncultured, dude. Anyway, I'm just gonna feed some more bun buns. And I'm gonna dig up this chest. Right 
here. J tassels. Okay, tassels must be like the next tier of rare treasure after the uh, zodiac statues. That's what I'm starting to notice. Hey, I'm glad I got him. Oh, no clover. And more praise. If it's frozen solid, can we even get in the buildings? No oh, good! The store won't budge! Well, why don't I just melt it with Inferno? Didn't work. I guess the game just assumes you probably don't have that ability. Even though it's very hard to miss that kind of side quest. There, now we got more cranes fed too. If I wanted to feed some cranes, I'd just throw food at the TV while watching Frasier. Na 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 na. Frasier's a good show. Not gonna lie. It's one of those, like, you'd have to get the humor to enjoy it before Rick and Morty. And it's usually pretty dry. Like, I don't know if it's as dry as the British version of The Office, but I, I guess it's kind of there. Maybe I should wear the water tablet for this one. Let's just do some looking around. It looks like that's the only way I can get on that ledge easily. Well, that's like Lily. I guess you can Lily. Wait a minute. This might be too high up to reach. Yeah, I don't think this is possible right now. Maybe you had to do it from the other side. Believe you me, I can do it from just about any side, ladies. Now, let's try to get back up here again. Because I kept falling off. Hold on. There's a merchant stand, but obviously no merchant. Well, I mean, yeah, there's clearly nobody here. So what's the point of having a merchant stand? What can we up this way, then? Nope. That door's frozen solid, too. What about this one? Oh, good. Oh. Wait. I hear a sheep. Eat up. Alright. Still don't know if, like, there's any survivors. There may not even be any. At least the sheep survived, so that's a good thing. It would be pretty depressing if all the animals didn't survive. It really would. <laughs> And now they go for a nap right away. It's cute. And then, all right, all right, all right, what, what, what was that all about? I didn't think that would wake him up, but it did. Uh, you know, let's just get the final purse upgrade. There. Now you can hold up to what? Hold on. How many digits is that? Eight. Yeah, your max is 99,999,999. For what reason would you need that much money? For any reason whatsoever. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a ledge up here. Man, I, I've... Wait a minute. Now wait a minute! 
Okay, there's actually, like, it's on top of, like, some big rock area. I was getting kind of worried that I was, like, hovering on ice. Like, what would happen if the ice melts? And that house would just collapse? Whoa. What the hell's going on here? Halt! Who goes there? This is the house of the village elder. If you need something from the elder, you must go through me. I am Samikal, top warrior of the Oina tribe. We already dealt with an Oina warrior. Sheesh! Who does this guy think he is? Well, at least we finally met someone from the village. So what are you doing standing around in the middle of this blizzard? Hmm? That grating voice. Is that you, Isun? What in the world are you doing with that strange white wolf? That's none of your business, pal. Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess. Is it true de demons have taken over, over Itsofuji? You must have been gone for some time if you don't know that. Save your questions for when you get back to your own village. That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious wolf with you, too. Why, you little... Uh, you're the little one. We're done talking to you. Let us into the chief's house now. No. You may not pass. We normally don't even let strangers into the village. And I've told the villagers not to let them into their houses. They will obey me, for I am Samikal. Chief of Webkir. Now be on your way. Oh, this guy's a dick. Uh. Let's talk. Hold on a second. You? Chief? What happened to old man Kemu? He didn't buy the farm, did he? Fool! Of course he's still alive! But he's been greatly weakened battling the demons! Now their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off. Since only the Elder's volcanic incantation can foil their plans. That is why I became chief of the village. I must protect the Elder from the monsters lurking in every corner. Now be on your way! Let us buy Semichal. You want us to make you? I sense extraordinary power in this white wolf. But if you do not heed my warning, I'll devour you where you stand. Now be on your way! Still as stubborn as a mule, I see. Come on, Amy. I've had it with this village! Okay, he's not saying anything different. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to leave. He's not gonna let us through. Not even gonna challenge us to a fight. This path leads to Ezo Fuji, a pair of sacred mountains. I bet the gates shut tight to keep the demons out. Yeah, keeping us from getting in. Oh well, I guess that's their problem right now. I did pick up a lot of stray beads. I wonder what ones I'm still missing from here. Okay, I'm missing one from Kamui, which I bet was that hole. I got two from Webkir, number one and number three. Interesting. Hold on, did I really get to check out much, say, down here? I think it'll be safe for me to drop, right? I'll just look on the ledges to see if there's any treasure. I mean, right now I don't see any. I do see what looks like a clover patch. And more sheep to feed. There you go. Eat up. Devour. And then nap. Because <laughs> you animals don't know what to do with your lives. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, is there- is that all there is here? I do see what looks like some kind of valley up there. I wonder if I could only have gotten to it from above. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I guess we're not gonna know what it is! <laughs> it was a straight beat! <laughs> I actually opened the chest the very instant daytime started. That is incredible. You, you can't make that up. Oh, you can't get into that house either. Okay, that's all well and good. How do I get out? Oh, I'm not stuck in here. I don't see anywhere you can shoot yourself up through with the water. This valley was the dead end, right? Yes. This might be a problem. Oh, no, never mind. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> You're staring me in the face. Well, I guess we didn't get much of a warm reception here, because this place is not warm. At all. Hey! Wait! Hmm? You guys, wait up! Well, I'll be! I haven't seen you in ages! Isun, it is you! I thought I heard you talking to some ickle. I just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone! And that some ickle's still as stubborn as ever! When did he become chief? Well, a lot's happened this past year. Look, you'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest in my place? And bring your white wolf, too. Wow, you, you decorated this all by yourself? Whew. At least the cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, Isun? And it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance as well, Wolfie. I'm Kai. The Oina girl, Kai. This here is Amaterasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. When was I ever known that as that? Now let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, how about those demons that are plaguing Kamui? What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Leku and Neku. They were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Waku Shrine ever since. Then, one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamui. Alright, looking at those demons, they look like owls. So, Tatari Moke demons, I guess? Kamu set out for the shrine at the top of Izofuji to pacify them. But they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Semiko managed to get him get to him just in time and bring him back. Then they got even more violent and turned Izofuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamu in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Semiko is trying to protect the village while Kamu recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fix if old man Kimu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Shinshu Field to the south. On that faithful day, Kimu declared that the evil force in the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called a land of hidden darkness. And there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamui now. 
black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into the Waku Shrine as if it had been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. Hi. There's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kutone? I saw him with it outside the village. How could old man Kimbu let him take it at a time like this? Oh, you met Oki? He left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Samiko was chosen to take Kimu's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village had tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. Sounds an awful lot like Susano. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission? Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Samikel does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now of all times. One last thing, Kai. It's about Samikel. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kemu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Sameko will never say it. But he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. So why do you have to snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost. Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika? Or Lika? Yeah, I think it's Lika. As in Lika, you're... That's right. My little sister. We scoured the village and the surrounding area. We couldn't find her. She just vanished. Now poor little Lika, too. Why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? We don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance. But they would certainly have reason to seek her out. You see, Laika... Laika holds the fate of this village in her hands. The fate of this village? That was Kimu's howl! He's calling to you, Isun. He's summoning the both of you! Well, we better not keep him waiting now. I trust the Mikkel is going to allow us in. Damn well better. You think Kemu would lie? I have a feeling he wouldn't. Oh, he's still angry though. What? You still got a bone to pick with us or something? The Elder summons the White Wolf to his home. You may enter. Well, it's about time. I never wait, chump. Ugh. Well, he wasn't really in the way. Wait, you're the... the Elder? This is the village Elder, Old Man Kemu, but... Looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. How many times did Gramps here tan my hide? Bah! This is no time to be dredging up the past. Well, why don't you bring it up then? Huh. Who was that bad mouthing me? Looks like there are some ties ties to be tanned. No, oh, no. Hmm. What happened? Was that a dream? Was I sleepwalking again? Sheesh! Oh man, there's a lot of tan hot tans hides in his sleep too. Why? Is that little Isong? So then I wasn't dreaming. Oh my god, he's a Tanuki. I thought I heard Semikal talking to someone outside. I must say, son, you've grown. Barely at all since I last saw you. Ah, put a cork in it, Gramps. Did you summon us just because you wanted someone to clobber? Ah, yes. Let's get down to business, eh? It is the white wolf I wish to speak with. 
You've no doubt already heard this from Kai, but... Her little sister, Laika, has gone missing. Yeah, we know about that. She disappeared about the time the demons started running amok. That's right. And her disappearance threatens the very existence of our village. Kai said something like that too. I can see why you'd be worried. But don't you think you're exaggerating a bit? No! We're not exaggerating. Besides, you have been gone so long. How could you possibly know? Oh my god, more story. <laughs> Laika has gained spiritual power far beyond my own. Her power is now the key to saving the land of Kamui. Huh? Are you saying Laika's power can defeat those demons? Not exactly. There's another reason we need her power. It is for Esofuji, the protector deity of Kamui. Esofuji? As you know, Esofuji is formed from two active volcanoes. Each year, I recite the volcanic incantation. That triggers an eruption that warms this frigid land of Kamui. But the demon's powers plunge Esofuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If we don't have Laika recite the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us all. Why don't you just recite the incantation yourself, old man? I would if I could! But I no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard! Any idea where Laika could be? That's the problem! We search high and low for that girl with no luck! Still, there is one place we have yet to look. Where? Yoshpet. The mysterious forest of deception. I caught a faint whiff of Laika emanating from Yoshpet. After all, I do have the keenest nose of all the Oina tribe. I suspect she could be somewhere around here on your map. Okay. I'd like you to conduct a thorough search of that forest. You've got to be kidding me! I wouldn't touch that place without a ten-foot pole! Oh, White Wolf, you are our last hope. Not me? Chief Samiko must remain here to protect the villagers. And Oki has left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left! Hold on a minute, old man. Do you even know where this furball is? Do not mock me, little sprite! That pure white coat, those crimson markings, and that divine instrument. This is none other than the legendary wolf, Sharanui. That name is known far and wide, even in this distant land of Kamui. But I never dreamed the legendary wolf yet lives. Well, actually this here is... Sharanui, please, you must help us. Laika must recite the volcanic incantation soon. Without her, the land of Kamui would become an icy tomb. I beg you, you must find Laika. I had warned the villagers to be wary of strangers. But I'll make a special exception for you. And I will open the village's far gate that leads to La Chi Lake. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I took your money. Lao Chi Lake. I guess I could uh, check it out. Is that that gate we saw near his house? Yes. Okay. Kind of want to take a look to see what's in there before we soon end the episode. All right. Guess we should go there first before we go to Yoshpet. This place is not cursed too, is it? No, it's not cursed. It's just rather large. I just didn't think it'd be 
this large. Another civilization. Okay, we got some more backstory to read. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that cannot be easily explained. Devices that even scholars in the capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. They are thought to be evidence of a civilization beyond our own. By my great-grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for brush training. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled in the area of Sasa Sanctuary. Great-grandfather traveled there the following day. Where the light had landed, he saw a mysterious float symbol floating in midair. It is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated here in Nippon. Whether one believes in this otherworldly civilization or not, it would seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I am not ashamed to say I count myself among their ranks. That was probably that, uh, that mysterious girl, like Kaguya, I think it was, who was from that civilization. But what's up with this shrine? This is the altar where the sacred sword Kutoni was enshrined. There was a great view of Lao Chi Lake and Ezo Fuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yam Yam Yamato. It's said the Ark has been frozen in Lao Chi Lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it down there on the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. Enso Fuji and the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place for the Oina tribe. I hear you there. Alright, let's just take a look around, shall we? Maybe we'll just go, like, just around the lake. Looks like there's another save point to the northwest. There's also a raccoon to feed. There you go. Now, this area must be really large. I don't know if we just want to, like, drop down from here. Does it just lead to the bottom? Okay, it just leads to the bottom. We can get there at any time. I kind of don't want to just fall down right now. If I can help it. Oh, oh, wow, you just popped right in. Don't scare me like that. Jeez. <laughs> Maybe I just ran a bit too quick. I wonder what's on the other side of this door. Does that lead to the shrine? I think, what was it called? Waku? I think so. This is Afun Gate! You must pass through it to reach the Waku Shrine. But they keep the gate shut tight to prevent unwanted visitors. They're certainly not skimping on the protection, I'll tell you that much. Do I really want to go in that house right now? Oh, that just flickered like that. Hello. I know who you are. Yes, the divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary white wolf Sharanui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard that name here too. Well, I suppose Sharanui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. Guess it really resonates with the Oina because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isun. It's been quite a while. So you're still alive. The Oina Shaman, Tuskel. <laughs> I am ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip, that's all. Huh? I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So, what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Laika? Hmm. The demons have shut themselves up in Esofuji's Waku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Kamui. We're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afun Gate. When the day comes, 
Come on, we sure to freeze over completely. That's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kimu noticed it as well. But just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing into Kamui. That's when the demons woke up, as if in response to it. Southern land? Oh! She must be Nippon! In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, Emmy. There have been so many monsters here in Kamui that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking that all this havoc in Nippon has its roots in Laochi Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the foot of Ezofuji. There is a large lake called Laochi at the foot of Ezofuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because of the Arca Yamato that rests in that lake. <laughs> the Arca Yamato! Anyone from Kamui knows that story! It's said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens. My grandpa used to tell me that story. Long like ago in the Age of Myths, an Iron Ark fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Lao Chi Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where the gods dwell. The gods are known as Celestials there. The Ark that the Celestials were on came crashing down to this land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed till all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been saved since. It's said that monsters still rise in the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving Celestial of the Ark. The Ark fell to this world from the Celestial Plane. It was full of monsters which killed the Celestials on board. But the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. Hmm. First time I heard that! They say the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark in Lao Chi Lake is that the Ruler of Darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of Darkness? Does he have a name? Must be Yami. It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamui, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Mm -hmm. I apologize for chatting so much. Now if you come all this way, Am I to assume you have Kemu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yoshpet, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less, but Emmy's here. Emmy here is another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed with the Oina Crest. It's our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. Shiranui, you may have the Oina amulet. Seba Prolo. It looks like a bunny. With that amulet, you can pass by the Oina crest unhindered. And you can proceed on to Yoshpet. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, there could be no mistake. You are the one who can find Laika. Find her before it's too late and Kamui freezes over. I'll do my best, ma'am. Alright, well at least we have ourselves a goal in mind. So I guess we'll just head on back down. I know we can just drop, but I don't know if I want to be close to that lake. Let's be honest, it just sounds like bad juju waiting to happen. 
Hold on, looks like there's a reason why this is all cut off. Yeah, see? What happens if I drop down here? Oh, just cranes to feed. Alright, I can do that. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's very slippery though. That's usually annoying. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Can I get up there? Maybe if I drop from above. So I should have made that jump from, like, farther northwest. I kind of want to see what's up there before I end the episode, because I'm noticing it's pretty long. I just didn't think it'd be this long. Also, I'm surprised this lake is not filled to the brim with monsters. I mean, I'm not complaining, I'm just surprised. Alright, so if I just go northwest and land on that particular cliff, like right in the corner, you see that? And it has that little circle inside. I kind of want to check that out if I can. So I believe you just got to go right here. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Is that a monkey? It was a monkey. It's been a while since I saw those. God, look at the markings on that arc. It does look pretty neat. Oh, there's a hole down here. Whoa. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Good things here. This might be what I think it is. Not only a place for a ton of praise. Is this another one of those divine springs? If so, I think we could get something really good out of it. Same as we have the last few times. over a million yen. <laughs> there we go. Do this two more times. Take my monies. Take it. Make use of the cash. Tarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Only a heart as pure as your own can pierce the darkness. I, Tachigami, can sense purity and light flowing from within you. Thanks to you, my power has again reached its peak. You can now easily slash through anything you desire. The bite of Power Slash got even more powerful? Hmm. Does that mean you could cut even harder things than before? Boy, I can't wait till you try it out. Luckily, there was one of those uh, rocks right there. Oh man, we could cut through just about anything now. Oh, life is good. What if I can headbutt it? Oh my god, you can even headbutt it now. Damn! Man, that guy in the dojo was not kidding when you said you could make it stronger. Or you could, like, evolve it. So that's really just how you do it. By, you know, just making your power slash stronger. It's tied to your hard head. That's a pretty neat way to go about it. 
So now I don't even have to slash the stones. I'll just ram right into them. Oh yeah, totally great idea. I mean, it's a time saver, but... <laughs> If you're somebody that doesn't want to get a concussion, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you have to watch that. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Wow, that's been a marathon episode. So let's stop here, and in the next part, we'll finally head for a Yoshpet. See you everyone, thanks for watching.